Hello friends, Zeb Olson here, and I've got another value-packed video for you that may be in terms of importance of uh, your internet experience, the most important video that you ever view from me. And Firefox announced today that they have came out with a little something called collections, which are basic collections of the different add-ons which is the primary reason why Firefox is the browser of choice for people who know. Kind of like the old Valvoline commercial, people who know use Valvoline. Another line that I like is, friends don't let friends use Internet Explorer. And the reason why Firefox is the browser of choice for people who know is for the versatility of all the add-ons that are available to enhance your web browsing experience. Now, you have the capability of coming up with your own collections and you have editors picks popular my collections and, and favorites that you can that you can favorite and so uh, I get questions all the time when people look at my browser and they they see some of the things that I do they're like wow how'd you do that and then I end up showing them all my cool Firefox extensions that I use and so I put together um, the nuts and bolts of my Firefox collection together and I call it the zebolson.com Firefox collection and I want to briefly go through these to give you an idea uh, exactly um, you know how great this can enhance your web browsing experience as well as the functionality and usability uh, of your browser and we'll start with the smart bookmarks toolbar okay or not toolbar but bar and that's how I have all these little icons up here if I want to bookmark something and have it right on my browser right on the smart bookmarks bar I can just click and drag and it puts the little favicon right there for instant accessibility and then I can also and, and I only put the important stuff stuff that I'm going to uh, utilize a lot up here so you see I got YouTube Facebook Twitter uh, MySpace, my Hotmail, and, and a few other things. Uh, next one is the Google Toolbar, and this is an absolute must-have. In and of itself, has so many different you know features and functionality. I've got a lot of stuff on my uh, Google Toolbar. I've got the YouTube thing. I've got uh, Google Earth here. I've got the Google Calendar going on. Uh, I've got uh, Google Maps. I have access to my Hotmail here, my Gmail here, and this little cross is where you can get all your different buttons and stuff for your Google toolbar to make it that much more uh, cool and whatnot. And you can go through the recommended, and then you can also see the, the full gallery to customize it. So you can have your Google toolbar exactly the way that you want it. Uh, next thing is the LastPass password manager okay this little thing up here will remember all my usernames and passwords so I don't have to manually type them in it will also autofill forms and it will also generate um, passwords for you so if I was to go to Twitter to log on you'll see these little you know red things that pop in and it automatically populates my information and if I have other accounts it will give me a drop down of all them and then I can click and then uh, go ahead and sign in there so LastPass is uh, pretty cool because who likes to type in a bunch of usernames and passwords all the time X marks this is fantastic because it basically synchronizes your bookmarks across all of your uh, browsers and computers there's even a add-on for Internet Explorer for for X marks and whatever computer that you're uh, on I have I have a couple computers and so this is wonderful for me if I go from my laptop to my desktop then I've got no problems whatsoever with oh that bookmarks on another computer because X marks synchronizes them all across all my computers I basically just you know, sets up my username and password once it's set up set it and forget it and, and it synchronizes everything uh, for me next is shareaholic okay and you'll see this little button right here this enables me to share a web page with all my favorite sharing I can email it and you have the option to manage your services uh, right here so that you can go ahead and handpick all your favorite bookmarking sharing uh, blogging publishing uh, what you want to be able to email with uh, link shortening uh, which is really a cool feature and whatnot uh, right through there 
And so Shareaholic, I love to share good stuff as I come across it on the internet, and Shareaholic is one of those great tools. Now this is one of my favorites, uh, Fast Dial. When I open up a new tab, okay, say I hit Control T and I open up a new tab. Well, Fast Dial basically brings up uh, this little checkerboard, and I can have this checkerboard um, as big as I want and whatnot. Just I, I right click here, I can click Preferences. I can change how many uh, columns, how many rows. I can change the size of them. Yada yada yada. Just you know, right click from there. Then all I have to do is click on an empty box, and then I can just go ahead and put in the URL of what I want on Fast Dial. Enter a title for it. Um, I don't do any of the descriptions. I don't see the purpose for it. And uh, hit OK, and you're good to go. And then it will automatically. Um, populate it with so I've got my my hotmail my ping my YouTube my Facebook my Twitter um, all my other stuff you know right here uh, on face file fast dial of the websites that I most frequently go to next is read it later and this is another super one how many times do you ever come across a web page that uh, somebody wants you to look at or has some maybe uh, interesting information that you surely want to go through, but now's not the time and you don't really want to clutter up your bookmarks with it? Okay, well, read it later puts this empty little check mark right here. Okay, and so, you know, so I'm running out the door, I don't have time to read it, don't want to read it right now. I simply click this little empty check mark and then you see this little uh, read it later icon. It's kind of like a book with a bookmark hanging out. I click on the down arrow and it shows me what is in my read it later list. And I can go through, click on it, you know, just as a link. And then I can um, delete them. I can check them off that it's read and it'll be gone. So I don't have to clutter up my bookmarks and I have uh, what I want right there. So I love uh, read it later. Let's go to the next page of add-ons. I don't have too many, but you know most of these are, are essential. Notice my tabs are different colors up here. This is nice as you open up more and more tabs that you're able to you know quickly and efficiently be able to differentiate between the tabs and it's nice to be able to have uh, different colors going on for those. So I love uh, colorful tabs. And then one that wasn't on here and one of my favorites is the, uh, the Skype. I love Skype and the Skype add-on basically turns phone numbers into clickable links so that you can call them uh, right through Skype. So with that, uh, we've just went through the zebolson.com Firefox collection. I hope this helps make your internet browsing experience that much better and you've got a brief overview on each one of these add-ons so that you can determine whether you want uh, some of them all of them. These are just my favorites and the ones that I use, and I'm sure uh, you're going to absolutely love them yourself. So the dog says it's time to wrap this video up. And so with that, I hope this information was informational. I hope it was educational. I hope that you share this video on, on Twitter. If you're on YouTube, please uh, rate this video, comment you know, below. If you're watching this in my blog, definitely feel free to you know leave any comments, especially if you've got an add-on that you feel is just an absolute must-have and I'm missing the ball and please uh, add that information below in, in the comments and definitely uh, tweet this video out there appreciate that very much I'm Zeb Olson and I'm committed to your success are you make it a great day